Hi there everyone and welcome to this next installment of the electronics tutorial series. What we're looking at now is how to use our scientific calculator. I thought it would be a good idea to look at this just before we get into any real circuit calculations. Now what I'm going to show you is what's called engineering notation. It's similar to scientific notation except that we deal with multiples of 1000. So if we have our base unit, which is just times 10 to the power of 0, then we go up 1 from there and we get to kilo, which is 1000 or times 10 to the 3. Mega is million or times 10 to the 6. Giga, 1000 million, 10 to the 9. And then we can get up from to Terra and up from there. If we go below the base unit, we start at times 10 to the negative 3 or minus 3, which is milli. Micro times 10 to the minus 6, Nano times 10 to the minus 9, and Pico times 10 to the minus 12. So, if we were dealing with, say, resistances that were maybe in the kilo ohm range or the mega ohm range, we could do one of two things. We could type it into the calculator in the full way. So, for example, if we had 12k, we could type in 12 and three zeros to give us 12,000 ohms. A better way of doing it is to actually use the exponential button on your calculator. So instead of writing in 12,000 ohms, we just do 12 exponential, which means times 10 to the power of whatever button we press next. And we want k, which is kilo, to the 3. So we've done 12 exponential 3, that is 12 times 10 to the power of 3. And we get 12k. What if it was 12 meg? We could do 12 with 6 zeros. Gets a little bit annoying punching in all those zeros. So how about we do 12 exponential 6? Does the same thing. What if we're dealing below the base unit? So milli or micro perhaps. Let's do this example. 4.82 milliamps would be 4.82 exponential negative 3. So what we do is we use this change sign button. That now places a little minus sign up here. And we punch in a 3. And it gives us 0 0.00482 amps, which is 4.82 milliamps. All right, let's go even further back. Let's go, let's deal with a capacitor now, 18 picofarads, which is a very, very low value of capacitance. We could punch it in in one of two ways. We could either do 0 point whole heap of zeros 0.018 farads, or we could do it the easy way, which is 18 exponential, change your sign to negative, 12. Now, a lot of calculators won't be able to display this many zeros, so they'll actually give it to you um, in scientific notation. Now, there's one step further we can go. A lot of calculators allow you to use engineering notation. To do that, you just change the function, and on mine it comes up with ENG for engineering notation. So now, if I type in any of these, so for example, let's go to the 4.82 milliamps. 4.82 milliamps. And it gives it to me just in that same notation. So 4.82 times 10 to the negative 3. I know that that is 4.82 milliamps. All right, what would happen if I typed it in this way? 0 0.00482 so that's 0 0.00482 amps or 4.82 milliamps. What does that equal in engineering notation? And again, it just gives me 4.82 times 10 to the negative 3, which is 4.82 milli. Very handy indeed. What about if we try 12k again? 12k, and that's what it is in engineering notation. Or 12 k as in 12,000 
again, it pops it up as 12 times 10 to the neg to the 3, sorry, which is 12k. So using our calculator can be a whole heap easier if we do use it in engineering notation. Most calculators you get for five dollars these days can actually do this, and it just makes our life a whole heap easier. Now before we leave, let's do a simple circuit just like we did in the first tutorial. Let's make this 12 volts. Let's make this a big value. Uh, let's do 382 k ohms. How would we punch this into the calculator to find out current? Well, we know current is voltage divided by resistance. We know the voltage across this resistor is 12 volts. We know the resistance of this resistor, 382K. So let's punch that in. 12 volts divided by 382K. K is times 10 to the 3, so exponential 3. Now it's coming up again, remember it's scientific notation, sorry, engineering notation, 31.41, so we'll round to two decimal places, times 10 to the negative 6. Negative 6 is micro, so we'd write this as 31.41 microamps. What if this was not 12 volts, but instead, let's say 300 millivolts. Let's do it up here. Current equals voltage divided by resistance. 300 millivolts. Let's use the same resistor. 382K. What does that come to? Well, 300 millivolts is 300. Milli is times 10 to the negative 3, so exponential change sign 3. Divide that by 382k, which is times 10 to the 3, so exponential 3. And now we're coming up with 785.34 times 10 to the negative 9, so nano. 785.34 nanoamps, which is a really, really low value of current, or low amount of current. All right, well, that's about it. So in conclusion, engineering notation, together with the exponential button on your calculator, will make life a whole heap easier for you when working with circuit calculations. We'll be using these techniques throughout the entire electronics tutorial series. If you have any questions, please feel free to write them in the comments section below. You've been watching another Retro Brad video. Be sure to check out and subscribe to my channel for more electronic projects, hacks, how-to videos and tutorials. God bless.